Hey guys, welcome back to Lock and Loaded. So we have something very special today. Yes, as you can see, we got the saber, the dagger to be specific. And I ordered this thing when it dropped uh, April 5th and it finally came today. So grateful it finally came. I was a little worried just from like past things that happened with PSA, you know, but uh, yeah, let's dig right in. So it comes with this pretty nice case. I'm honestly impressed by the case. Got a little velcro right here, put some patches or not. This is like sewed on, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this one. See what all comes in. So on here we got the manual. PSA lock. Gonna add that to the collection. And of course, stickers. I have the pink one of this, so I'm glad to get a blue one finally. And, oh, this is nice. PSA dagger sticker, that'd been cool if they made like a saber dagger sticker, but it's pretty cool. And of course, the optic screws and whatnot. And a gel pack. So yeah, that's everything in the first pack, or in the first pocket. How's this cool? Let's see. Designed and manufactured for Saber by Savior Equipment. Wow, that's sick. That's pretty cool. Has these pockets. <clears throat> yeah, again, I'm impressed by this. This case. Let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff. Just the certificate of the firearm, it looks like. More stickers, blue ones. Nice. The mags. And these are P mags. I've never used pistol P mags. I've used them on ARs and I've never had a problem. Uh, this is pretty cool. I think it's 17 plus 5, I want to say. Yeah, 17 plus 5, so we have 22 rounds. It comes at two mags. And we have six slots for mags, which is pretty cool. This is where the fun happens. So this is the Saber Dagger. It's clear. If you guys haven't watched PSA's video on this, it has the threaded barrel. Ported slide, suppressor height sights, arm markup, magwell, aluminum flat face trigger, custom laser stippling. I just think this gun looks amazing. I love the Sabre logos put everywhere. This one's really nice on the back plate. I got the all black and gold colorway. Just seems more clean. Seems like not too messy or all, or all over the place. And yes, this is the full size dagger. So let's get that reset. Kind of reminds me of the Canic. The trigger is very crisp. It's nice. I can't wait to shoot this. Today's video is just going to be like the overview, tabletop review. I'm going to plan to get full review posted this weekend on this but anyways like I was saying the bag was really impressive I was surprised this is the only thing I am kind of disliking it looks just off I feel like in the on the website it seems like this goes with it it's not like straight and then like you know what I mean but I'm gonna have to try a normal Glock mag. Let's see how that looks. So this is just a normal Glock mag. Oh, that's pretty nice. It doesn't drop free though. Or at all. 
What the hell? Okay. That was a tight fit. That did not feel right. It's just a normal 33 round. <laughs> Clock with it, but you know. I like how these look. I was getting made fun of on Facebook saying extended mags give off psych ward patients or whatever. Still a little size comparison with the Glock 17. So we all know that the dagger full size is the Glock 19X clone. I actually have the Glock 19X. Why don't we just use that? So we have the 19X right here. So obviously this is fully stock. So there's a big difference, but the ergonomics of this is just nice. It fits perfect in the hand compared to the, the Glock. Just this little hump right here makes it look not, eh, I guess it does look funny, but it makes it feel very nice, perfect fit for the hand compared to this. I like how the dagger alone is the Glock clone, but the Saber just seems like the Shadow Systems clone. And for $661 after tax and shipping and everything, I'd rather this over the Shadow Systems. Yet again, I haven't shot it. But I feel like you can't really go wrong with Glock platforms. I've never shot a dagger. Nevertheless, I'm excited. Might have to do something with that threaded barrel. I watch this YouTuber. Um, his name is Stormtrooper Accuracy. And he doesn't like the look of the threaded barrel sticking out, but I do. I, I don't like the look of a suppressor on it, but since I have one, might as well. I think that'd be cool. I used to think, like, I don't want to spend $1,000 on a suppressor, but everybody says it's going to be worth it if I do, so I'm going to have to do that down the road. Down, down the road. For the full review, I'm going to have to just shoot it with iron sights. I don't think I would put a red dot on it for... The full review, it's supposed to be like a, about the gun, not add anything onto it and review it. It's just a full review about the gun. So it's just going to be straight air in sights. Like I was saying, I'm going to try to have the video recorded and posted this weekend. And yeah, that's the tabletop overview on the Palmetto State Armory Saber Dagger. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be safe and always stay locked and loaded. Peace.